Hey, what's up? I'm Alcox. I play games, make games, and everything in between. And today I'll be talking about BuildBox 2D, why it's the easiest, most expensive no code software, and it'll probably never be updated again. So stay tuned. Before I begin, be sure to like and subscribe as I put out content around Bellbox making and playing games. So if you've been watching the App Store recently, there's been a lot of Bellbox 2D games, either game of the day, that have won multiple awards. My first game published with Bellbox 2 was featured by Apple in Europe and got over 15,000 downloads. So, Buildbox 2, in my opinion, is one of the easiest softwares to use, but it's not free and you actually have to ask for it specifically if you're a paid subscriber. And the primary reason is Buildbox 3 is just trying to get away from Buildbox 2 as much as it can. The technology built with Buildbox 2 is old, outdated, and doesn't have the growth potential of Buildbox 3. Now, is Buildbox 2 like a hundred times easier to use, a lot faster in terms of what you can build and create in a short time frame. Yes, it still has bugs, but there is literally no code in the software. You do not come across code. You wouldn't even know code was a thing until you want to publish your game. The biggest reason I think BuildBox is not going to update BuildBox 2.3.8 in the long term is that they have no reason to. The focus is on BuildBox 3 and growing BuildBox box 3 now there are some creators out there that are amazing with build box 2 and i haven't been in build box 2 in at least six months so maybe i should just go back to play with it because it is very fun and easy the most important thing that i don't think is discussed is the fact that build box 2 uses open gl i'm gonna link to a devlog that build box put out back in 2018 that talks about how they're into integrating and involving OpenGL into BuildBox 2.3.6, which is really important because the graphics of BuildBox uses this software. And later that year, the Apple announced that in the long term that they're going to get rid of OpenGL and eventually not support it. And I'll leave links both to the BuildBox devlog and to the VentureBeat article. But what this means in the long term that if Apple doesn't support OpenGL and BuildBox 2D uses OpenGL in its game, then it too will no longer be supported. Now there is no date period announced of when this will happen, but it is going to happen in the future. When it does happen, the games made by BuildBox 2, they're kind of up in the air to see what will happen if they will actually even be able to be published in the App Store. So it's just this whole kind of mystery of what's going on as BuildBox just not updating 2.3.8. Now the only thing that will tell is time. So we will have to wait and see. The last time it was updated was July 2019. So that was six, five. That was like seven months ago. I have a really hard time keeping track of what day or month or year it is. I know it's 2020. It's been over six months and maybe they'll update it. There has been no news about it. I'm a skeptical person. I won't believe it until I see it. Yeah, let me know your thoughts. Have you used BuildBox 2? Have you only used BuildBox 3? And don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Peace.